Yeah. Yeah. Hey brother, why are you here? Why are you here? Why? Oh. There's a different way to do it. What's the different way? Uh, the way that we're doing it. You're holding a sign. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the difference between us is I don't think that holding a sign is bad, but you just said that it is. Can you see how that's a different, like a different standard, different weights and measures? Uh, we're actually talking to our people about the way in which, like, the, the day of all the, like, the, the, the day, day of all days to come out here is this, this kind of humor. I'm aware. No, I know why. I know why. It's because you have a bunch of compromised peers that don't really have anything to do with the gravity of the Holocaust that we live in. Here's the bottom line. Um, we have people that are adopting babies. Good. We, we have people that are working with Grace Home who are Good. actually taking them on. Cool. I mean, where are you at in that? Like, cool. Do you support I live Grace in, Home? I live in Tulsa. Do you support Grace Home? I don't know. What is Grace Home? In fact, you don't know what that means. You don't know this issue. I'm from Tulsa. How many homes are there in Tulsa for single moms for this Several. Give me Several. some names. Uh, there's the... Uh, I'm just... I, I'm I don't know saying, any. I don't wanna, I, okay, I'm just saying, there are ways in which we're going about this mm -hmm. that are different. Your way is your way. Mm -hmm. We're going to come out here and say... Why are you not, opposing our way is the question. We're just saying that you're not Bridgeway people. Right, but why are you That's here? It. Just tell people that you're not Bridgeway. Why? Because we're doing our thing inside which we think is going to further this issue for our people. What if you did all of these things and addressed it like it were a holocaust? Well, here's the deal. We're addressing it the way we think we're supposed to address it. Can you imagine in 1810 you, you're Virginia? Not, you tell me you don't in even 18, know. 10, yeah, you I know. Don't even but in 1810 know Virginia, are helping this issue in your own. I know. In 1810 Virginia, I don't think that we should start a ministry to help plantation owners who got injured by their slaves who were escaping. During the during the act of escaping, wouldn't that be a, 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 a relevant analogy? Look, if you're frustrated would it, would it with be? me for not doing all sides, then you do it too, please. Do what? So why don't you get educated in your own city mm -hmm. about how to actually help the women? I do, and I'm all alone. I'm all alone. I'm trying to pick up. I'm trying to pick up the slack. There's, I know, but there's lots of different. But why would I do that? Because there's lots of people doing those things, and very few people doing the other very needful things that are totally being neglected. That's what I'm trying to pick up the slack. Yes, there are. It's one of the only ones we can find. There are very. There are many of them. Well, that's way more than we can than we have. We have like two people who go out and do the things that need to be done. Also, that try not to neglect other parts. Why are you shaking your head? I'm shaking my head because. I just think it's interesting that on a day that two days in a row that we're pushing this hard, you guys are out saying our church is complacent and it's sad. So it's sad that we're not using How many people of your church are involved in these outreaches that you're talking about? Which, which outreaches? The, the ones that you trumpeted that I didn't know and you do? Uh, I mean a handful. Wow. Look at all these cars that are here. Yeah, you know a handful out of them? them? To repent. We keep it. What if you called them to repentance of their apathy and complacency? And you know what? what? Have, have you watched any of what we're showing today? I did. I watched their five-minute Vimeo video in which uh, John Piper, who's also guilty of the same complacency, appeared. David Platt, ditto. Uh, what's his Crawford Lawrence, ditto. All those things. Are they? Are those your models to follow? Leance. Sorry. Leance. I forget. Leance. I'm not Leance sure who that in is. Atlanta? Maybe. Taking the babies off the, the ash heaps. Yeah, the one who talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, the one who have talked you been about to their it. Church? What, in Atlanta? Yep. Atlanta? Have you researched it? Have, you can't rip these how many, people that you don't know. I'm not, talking about, I'm not talking about how they're saying wrong things no, or starting bad objectives. What I'm talking about is their, how Piper. they... You don't even know. That's sure I do. Happening. Yes, I do know about Piper. Tell me. In Minneapolis, there are numerous abortion mills. The sidewalks in front of them are empty of Piper people. Why do you think that is? The streets are empty of street preachers. Nobody's getting door knocked with gospel tracks. Nobody's being held the gospel. Very, very few in comparison to how many people go to Bethlehem. We need to be careful. Yeah. Hey, why don't you help us when keep track of the kids instead of holding this dumb sign? How what if about, you did that? Okay, so at this point, you, this is where I just got hit by a car. This is where I see that you're minded. I get it. I get it. But why are you here with your sign, sir? Why are you here with your sign? Why well, already explained that. Okay. You want me to explain it again? You want my literature to explain it? No. Okay, you just want to chew me out and yell at me, don't you? I, have I yelled at you? Have yes, I yes, you did. You out? Yes. Ha yes, just now. Just now. But go ahead. Tell me what you got to say. It's okay, I'm listening. Just this now, no, because all you're trying to do is trying to rile people up and push buttons. That's all you're trying to do. You're not trying to be peaceful like you're trying to. False peace. 
Huh? False peace. Oh, false peace. So there is no peace at all. With child sacrifice, no. We're not talking child sacrifice. We're talking about our conversation right now. Can you not be a man of peace? With, not with can child you sacrifice. Be a man of peace? Not with child sacrifice. We're not talking child sacrifice. But you about. can't even be peaceful with that. So why would I listen to a word that you have to say? So why would I listen to a word that you have to say when you can't be a man because of peace I'm with a simple conversation? Because I'm saying things. What? Because I'm saying Bible things. Well, you're being. No, you're being very, being peaceful. No, you're being very persuasive with your tone and the way that you're talking. And all I'm trying to do is conversate with you for a moment, but you keep trying to dig in and you're not making people and trying to solution. Come to, we're not against each other. Then why are you Y'all acting like it? Listen to me, you're not against each other. We're on the same you team. You guys called the As cops on me. Would you hush and let me talk well, for a second? stop saying false things, sir. If you would say true things, then I'm all for it. I'll listen to you. The gospel? Yes, please. Absolutely. Okay. I hold to I hold to ninety plus percent of what the London Baptist Confession of sixteen eighty nine says. Uh, so our definition of the gospel would be exactly the same. I I well I hope. Okay. I, just, I hope. I just, okay. I Which is that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God has created us all in his image. We are all guilty by virtue of our sin and also by by virtue of our sharing in the federal headship of Adam. And because we are lost and dead in sin, God from eternity past elected a people that he would set apart for his own possession. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, who is God, very God in human flesh, one of the, one of the members of the Godhead, the second person of the Trinity, to take on human flesh, become incarnate as a man, live a perfect life on earth, voluntarily give himself over uh, to death on the cross as a substitutionary atonement, a penal one, on the cross to shed his blood for the, uh, for the sake of forgiving his people, by grace alone, through faith alone, and three days later he rose again from the dead in victory, bodily, physically, and uh, left the earth uh, approximately 40 days later, sent his Holy Spirit to be our mediator and our comforter and our intercessor, and uh, eternally lives to offer sacrifice or uh, mediation for us in heaven, from which he will return in uh, physical, physically, bodily, and glory at some uh, unknown point in the future. Um, and uh, so we must repent of our sin Trust in Jesus Christ alone, by grace alone, through faith alone, and Jesus Christ alone to save us from our sin, to purify us, to sanctify us over the course of our lifetime, and to bring us to glory at the time of his choosing. And he has, uh, he has commanded us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that he's commanded. Would you disagree with any of that? I would add one thing that I thought might not be what is it? You just never said that God loves people. Not one time. And your whole... I, this is... And I think this is where there's this maybe disconnect. There's something about that message of the rescuing of the people in love uh, that, that feels like in, in the knowledge that you just gave me, which was actually very biblical. Every bit of it. There's just this, this one thing. Mm-hmm. I think that's just where my heart gets hurt because I feel like we begin to make the gospel something that doesn't have this relational, like, wrath of God was coming. You said it, right? And he loved the world so much, and he loved individuals so much, and he loved his bride so much that he's pulling them out of that wrath and putting him on himself. Everything you said, but I just never heard, like, love. Mm-hmm. Like, that God so loved the world. Mm-hmm. That's, I hear you. That's it. That's, no, you're right. I, you're I, right. I don't want there to be a a issue that is. I, I get. Are, are we where we should be on it? No. But I don't want an issue to actually replace the gospel and replace the love of God. I think we have to reach out, and, and I'm. I think we have to be vocal. Do we need to be more vocal? knowledge and judgment towards people without hope and love being offered at the same time. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you up to this point because, you know, there's a lot of things that could be said about a gospel proclamation and you're right that the word love did not appear in mine, nor did adoption, nor did regeneration. I didn't necessarily mention the new birth. Uh, so you're right that there are a lot of angles that one could go at it from 
and I was just kind of spooking it off the top of my head. And so, I and I hear you. Great. But I, I, I totally where, agree with you. I, get, I totally where, agree where with it you. It hurts my yeah. heart is if the message never is bringing this reconciling love, then it does just seem like judgment out here. That's all. That's all. It I totally hear like you. We're judging a bunch of people. Man, God will judge them. Yep. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Um, it's actually happening. I mean, we're in judgment on multiple right, fronts, right? I want to be able to communicate better. Um, Me too. And so, that, that's, that's all. Me too. Not, I do too. We can't make you go somewhere. And I, I just, I want there to be love. And, and I think when so, people see it, Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, they've 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 told us. I mean, to be on to be honest, your guys have made it very clear that if we sit, if we were to sit, if we we're to step step one foot past this line, then we'll be arrested. So, you know, you talk about love. The very first thing these guys did was come up and yell at us about how we needed to leave and how we needed a permit and how they're going to call the police. And so, you know, just like physician, heal thyself is one message. But we have to we have to keep in mind while you're right about the. You know, me, me forgetting to mention that that thing. I agree with you, and I'm that's not saying you don't you're... believe that it's. No, I know, I know. I, you're, but you're right that I did not mention it. You're right. This makes me. What I, if I'm showing these pictures, I would lead with the love of God, mm -hmm. like, or at least follow the judgment of God with the love of God, mm -hmm. because that is what people. I would do that if people okay. came up, if people had uh, exhibited a soft heart, which nobody has so far. Like these guys are running, trying to run us off, et cetera, I mean, et cetera. I'm like people are yelling at us. Yeah. They have responsibility. It's, it's, yeah, it's their job. It's their job. They're paid by this I'm church. I'm asking you. No, we're not. Okay, so you're not paid. Oh, you're here for free. Hassling people for free. That's good. Okay. You guys are like death squirts at the abortion mill. And as they are, as they're hassling you, mm -hmm. they, there is some hassling going on in a variety of instances here. Yeah, there's righteous I'm and saying, unrighteous hassling is the, I, I the distinction I'm making. This is righteous hassling, but I would say it just immediately shifts people good and i know that the shock value is what you want it's part of I it. Get it it's part I of get it. it i just want the love message to be loved. do you think I, do you I, think I, the I, same I, criticism could have been leveled to the prophet jeremiah that's a question to ask too you no, don't necessarily have to answer no, right now i mean here's the deal i think jeremiah was doing exactly what god had called him to do there was no jeremiah had a different knowledge base than we had he had a different experience with the we have more we do we have the love piece. Yeah. That of course he had, but it, he didn't see the face of Jesus and the love and the beauty, right? Sure he did. He saw all kinds of love. No, no, no. From God. Okay, yes, yes. And he recognized we, the Holocaust the he image lived in. of God is what I'm saying. Like we, when it says in the Bible that when we look at Jesus, we see God, mm -hmm. that was different than the Old Testament. Not, salvation was coming. Salvation comes because God is good, right? But the image of Jesus perfect image of the Father. Yes. And there was compassion. Yes. There was flipping over the tables. Yes. I'm with you. But there was this peace that we just want to make sure we're being forthright. I think he loved victims and the oppressed and downtrodden. Oh, which is what is which is who are being ignored. That's that baby depicted in that he is an oppressed victim. Yes. And your church is like, hey, let's have a ministry and make sure that women who are murderers know that they could actually just kind of like have some free diapers and stuff afterwards. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, what's that? These crisis pregnancy centers, that's what they basically do. Okay, so here's the deal. Are you saying that crisis, so should we eliminate crisis pregnancy centers? Yes, they should be churches, not parachurch organizations that are mostly compromised with Rome, funded through Rome, gospel less in many cases. Okay, yes, we okay. should destroy you, them. So are you talking about hope? And are you talking about Crossroads, the two that we support? I need to know that. Well, I, 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 not right now, okay? I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk. It's important. Could you find out for me? I know. Do they say, the do they say sin? Do they call it sin? Yeah, and you know what? Do they, they call, do they say repent? You know where the bad ones are? Where? The ones that lie to the girls. They tell them that if they have an abortion, they're going to get breast cancer. What okay. is that? That's pregnancy centers, too. We're having to yep. go against that. Okay. You can't label them all. That is no good. I'm not saying I'm not saying You're that I'm, saying they're all like that. Them. I said most of them. We I do think they should be eliminated. I don't. I think Crossroads has plenty of our people that are working and they share the gospel and their babies. Okay, the number in Oklahoma is dropping. Is that true or not? No, of course. It's completely false. So Bob Donahue, you know mm -hmm. Bob? Uh, yeah, I'm acquainted with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what was the number two years ago of uh, aborted babies in Oklahoma? 
Nobody knows. That's the problem. You know why? It's, be it's because at Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS, they sell the abortion pill for forty dollars without a prescription. Okay, I'm with you on that. And I'm specifically talking about doctor abortion. That's that. That's what I'm talking about right now. I understand but that you're talking you about that, but that it's, number it's dropped. not relevant. Okay, so I need to. I just need to make sure I understand that a number dropping is not a good thing. I want to make sure I'm quoting you accurately. Mm -hmm. A number of aborted babies by doctors being dropped, like lessened every year, is not a good thing. Uh, I would actually argue that's probably not. It's well, it's definitely not necessarily a good thing. There's no way to know whether it's a good thing, and I can see scenarios in which it's maybe even a bad thing for we a number of reasons. More babies aborted. No, what I'm trying to say is that what through, what's replacing them is chemical abortions that are untrackable and un and very much harder to address. Okay, but. So you're going to go with this plan that because of those, that's why the numbers are dropping, not because of anything that's happening. Probably. Okay. I mean, their sales are, they're obviously a lot more popular. So a crisis pregnancy center, one baby saved, let's say, not worth it. Do ends justify the means? Is it worth it for a baby to be saved? Ends don't justify means. So the question is, could we have, if we had redirected our resources in a different way with a different means? Would we have saved more babies? Would we have glorified Jesus Christ more faithfully? The answer, I think, is yes. Okay, and then, so I can give you that. Can you give me that a baby that's not aborted is a good thing? In a vacuum, sure. Okay, great. Well, at least I have that you on record for saying no. It's good that a woman goes somewhere and they tell her, abortion's not good, it's not right, it's sin, and she doesn't abort the baby. It would be good, good if thing. someone told her that, yes. Okay, that's great. That doesn't justify the existence of that yeah, CPC. We, we don't need the, we don't need hope pregnancy, but what we need is churches to rise up. Difference. So what if it's church people at the pregnancy center? What if we just had a bunch of church people as a church approach and outreach, like doing that as the church? But Why are we wasting time with all these other things? Because they're doing it. But that's bad. I don't think it's ideal. Bridgeway members counseling women to not have abortions at a pregnancy center is not ideal. Right, it's not ideal. But it's okay. It's, it's good. It's better, people. it's, dude, anything is better, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, it's better than people setting off nukes in Oklahoma City. Of course, it's better than no, it's something better else. Than abortion. Right? It's yes, than yes, certainly, it's better than being aborted. Absolutely. Well, I don't, like, that's not the question. I would never deny such a thing. The question is whether they you should are exist. <laughs> on some level, denying such a thing. No, I deny, I'm not denying that it's bad, not, like it's good to save babies from abortion. What I'm denying is that this is a good means to do it. And that, that, that the end of saving a baby justifies the means of the CPC. Does that make sense? It does. Well, we disagree. I don't know if we agree to disagree. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I think the church and a crisis pregnancy center, done right, mm -hmm. can partner together. I think okay. a church can do it on their own. I think a church can partner with them. I'm a both and. Okay. I'm not a one way is the only way. Okay. I believe for redemption and salvation, there is no plan B. <laughs> the church. The, yeah. Not the lo well, the church. Yeah. Not the local church. Like which church are you talking about when you say well, the local church? Like the local church that is this one? Oh, uh, under well, like any local church. Oh, any local like local churches. Okay. Yeah, I get you. Local churches. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. I just get confused when people say the local church because I don't know what, which one they're talking about. They're talking about the one they're in, saying because that's the one where they're okay. under eldership. I call that a local church. They're, they're you local know what I mean? Because there's many, like lots of different local churches. Yeah. What do you think? What do you make of the fact that we tried to spread the knowledge of Dan Fisher, the only righteous candidate to run for governor in our lifetime, at your church, and you guys resisted it and told us to get off your property? Yeah, I mean, again, I think. Uh, I think that the tactic of do and not ask, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's biblical. Why do you think the church leadership did not ask for Dan to come in and make sure that his platform was known to everybody? Speaking of asking. <laughs> because we are not going to, as a church, take a candidate and promote him or her of any... Uh, I, we, Why? We, we can't do it. Why? Because that's not what we're called to do. We're not called to trumpet a certain leader. What about a righteous man who's trying to enforce yeah. righteous decrees in the, in the and culture? You, and so you would say that everyone else, right, this will be good information, all, every other candidate was unrighteous. Correct. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, a million percent. Absolutely, yes. Yeah.